fertilization takes place see whenever the zygote the diploid zygote is formed after the fertilization into the oviduct it will result into the mitosis division and then it will result into formation of an embryo and then this embryo will be pushed towards the uterus see from uh, that fertilization will take place into the oviduct like this and then that zygote formation will take place that zygote will undergo mitosis and then it will result into formation of embryo that embryo will be pushed towards the uterus that means over here and then the proper development of the uh, embryo will take place over there and then it will be implanted and the further development will be take place after the implantation and then there is going to be an organ a uh, an organ which is going to be known as placenta it is going to be a pipe like a flexible pipe like or a flexible a flexible pipe like organ is going to be there which is going to be known as placenta and then it is going to supply the food to to the uterus so whatever the mother will eat that will be supplied to it to the child through that placenta so that placenta is a connection between mother and that child and then embryonic development will be completed uh, within nine months after the fertilization and after nine months or plus or minus nine days the child will take a birth so this is how the development and the birth of a new individual will take place thank you students and have a knowledgeable day